All right, YouTube, what's going on? It is your boy, Wingstop Poppy. We are back today with another video. In today's video, we do not have no sneakers. We actually have a little bit of a clothing haul. If you guys are familiar, Palace and Gap recently did a collaboration, which kind of came out of nowhere. I don't know, maybe I just forgot about it because we see so much information on the internet these days. But anyways, Palace and Gap dropped a collaboration last week. Pretty big collection, a lot of really good items, and some of this stuff is still available. So if you guys want anything, I will link it down below. But today I have three items from the collection. My personal three favorite items. Really excited to share and show off these items with you guys and give you guys an on body. So in case you're curious about this collab and want to go pick it up, you guys can see how it fits or see the quality, etc. You know the drill. Anyways, before we get into the video, as always, please Please feel free to hit that like, subscribe, and feel free to follow me on Instagram down below. One of these items I just posted a fit pick on Instagram of, so if you want to go see how I style any of these items, go follow me on Instagram. Anyways, let's get into the video. All right, starting off with the camo pants here. This is the Tiger Camo Cargo Pants. Now, originally when I first saw this collection, this was my favorite item. That has since changed. Not that these pants are bad, but one of these items I'm about to share with you guys it's by far my favorite piece. Anyways, getting back into these cargo pants. I pretty much picked these up because I love this Tiger Camo. I'm not sure if this Tiger Camo is kind of trending this season. I've seen a lot of brands do Tiger Camo pants. Supreme did a Tiger Camo pant. So overall, I've just seen this pattern a lot. Anyway, some details on these pants. You guys have two front pockets right here and right there. And then we have our cargo pockets on the side. And on the right side of the pant, you have the Palace Gap branding. This is actually Velcro, so you can take this off. And then on the left side, just your regular cargo pocket, as you guys can see right there. And then on the back of the pant, you actually have these adjusters, so you could adjust the waist to your liking. Now, sizing for me, I went with a 34. I think these fit me perfectly. I've been losing a little bit of weight lately. I feel like my working out, I'm losing a little bit of my waist. Usually I'm a 36 in pants, but these I got a 34. I looked at the palace size chart and I don't think I'll be wearing a belt with these. So that's why I also went a size down. So I recommend going true to size. However, I believe the size chart is still on palace. Unfortunately, Gap did not have a size chart, which it's crazy for brands not to have size guides in 2024. Like, come on, we got to get together. But anyways, hopefully it's still on Palace in case you guys want to go check it out. Getting into these back pockets, you have this Palace Gap branding on the back pocket right here, which is super nice, all stitched in and embroidered. And then just another back pocket right here. And then in terms of length, I got the 30 inch inseam. However, you can tie them up. As you can see, I have them adjusted. However, untie these and wear them a little looser, all about personal preference. But anyways, really nice pair of cargo pants. These came in at $90, which is super affordable. In my personal opinion, one thing I do wanna call out about this collaboration is that I'm so happy they went with like a nice mix between Gap pricing and Palace. If you guys are unfamiliar with Palace, their pricing can be a little steep. For example, I think their cargo pants are usually around like 168, 180, somewhere in that range. So $90 for these, super happy. So really great pricing overall. Let's get into the next item. All right, this was an item that I saw in the collection. I originally wasn't gonna pick it up, but then I kept looking at it and I was like, you know what, this is kind of a staple piece. Really wanna try this out. And I love this colorway and this is gonna be the hoodie. As you guys can see right here, we have the pal on front, all stitched in an embroidered satin. I'll get a close-up shot, and you can see the pal is written out inside that A graphic on the front as well. Really nice embroidery, and then flip and dip on the back, you got the Gap branding right here. Once again, we got that palace branding in that A. Super nice, all embroidered satin, really pops. Also, I love this forest green colorway. If you guys have been watching the channel, you guys know green is one of my favorite colors to wear. And this green is absolutely perfect. They call this a rainforest green, by the way. And this hoodie is actually still in stock on Gap. So if you guys want to go shop this hoodie, again, the link will be in the description. This hoodie was $130, which is a little expensive for a hoodie. But I will say this is palace material. So if you think about it that way, 
Palace hoodies are usually 168, 158, 178, depending on what it is. So 129, not really too bad at all in my personal opinion, considering you are getting a Palace quality hoodie. And this is all embroidered and stitched in. If this was screen printed on, I would say, yeah, it's probably not worth the price. Also, I really love the way this hoodie fits. According to the Gap website, they said this fit oversized. However, I stay true to size. I got a size large. I think this fits absolutely perfect on me. And by the way, my measurements, I'm around 5'10", 195 pounds. I'll link that in the bio in case you guys forget. But anyways, I feel like this hoodie fits perfect. It is super comfortable, by the way. And overall, super happy I picked this one up. Kind of regret not getting the gray one too, but I couldn't pass up on that green hoodie. Anyways, moving on to the last item, which is my personal favorite item. And that is going to be this beautiful Oxford shirt. And man, they dropped this at the perfect time because Easter is on Sunday. And this is exactly what I'm going to wear. This is perfect for the holiday. They absolutely snapped on this piece. Like this quality and just overall design is amazing. I absolutely love it. I mean, you guys can see it in my hand. This thing is absolutely beautiful. I love it. I'm so happy that this was actually really affordable. This shirt was $90. I thought for sure that this one was going to be the most expensive just because style. And then also the back is fully embroidered. As you guys can see right here, you got the palace, you got all the flags, and then it says Gap Athletic. Super nice. One thing I will say is when I did see this item, this was originally my favorite item when I saw the collection, but the back kind of turned me off at first. But then I kept thinking about it, kept getting close to the release, and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and pick this up because I love this color blocking. Like, I could not pass this up. Also, this shirt is still sitting on the Gap website. So I recommend you guys go ahead and pick this up. This is one of my best shirt pickups I feel like in a while, if not the best. I absolutely love this shirt. Speaking in terms of sizing, I actually went with a size medium. Also, I was skeptical. Whenever I buy something in medium, I've been buying so much stuff in large or XL that when I buy something in medium, I just feel so skeptical about it. However, I will say the medium fits me absolutely perfect. This shirt is super oversized in my personal opinion. If you want the oversized look, I would say go true to size. If you don't want the oversized look, go down at least one size, maybe even two size, depending on your body frame. Really for me, I just didn't want this shirt to be super long. I'm not a super tall guy, I'm 5'10", so I didn't want this to be all the way down to my knees like a nightgown. So that's why I went with the medium, but like I said, it fits me perfectly. And overall, this is my favorite item from the collection. I mean, even these tags are all embroidered on. That's for all items, by the way. The hoodie also had the same tag. I believe the pants have the same tag as well. But yeah, this piece is so immaculate. Can't wait to wear it. Can't wait to style it. Such a fun item. This Oxford also came in three other colors. They had a white and they had a tiger camo. But that multicolored one blows the rest of those out of the water, in my personal opinion. But anyways, that is going to do my video for today. You guys let me know what you guys thought about this collaboration. Did you pick anything up? And once again, some of these items are still available. I highly recommend picking them up right now when you can get it for retail because I'm telling you guys, I feel like two years from now, this might be like a sought after collaboration on the aftermarket. But anyways, it is your boy Wingstop Poppy. I'm getting out of here. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.